This is my first video in a series about Grignard reagents. Grignard reagents are going to be used to attack carbons that have a delta plus charge, and they're made by mixing an alkyl halide, that's some kind of carbon chain with a halogen atom on it, with magnesium. Now, this is my alkyl halide, some kind of carbon chain, doesn't matter how long, and a halogen atom connected to it. I've mostly seen this as bromine or iodine, but I'm pretty sure that you can use it for chlorine and maybe even fluorine. But in any case, the idea behind the Grignard reagents is that when you mix the alkyl halide with the magnesium, you end up with the magnesium atom between the alkyl chain and the halogen atom itself. The reason this is important is because in the original molecule, the alkyl halide, you have a carbon connected to an electronegative atom. The electronegative atom prefers to have, or is hungrier for electrons, so it gets a little delta minus charge. The electrons in the bond spend a little bit more time around it. And thusly, the carbon is delta plus. It's a little bit deficient of electron density, again, because it's connected to an electronegative atom. But by adding magnesium, and by the way, it has to be in ether. You can't have water around because water will react with this and you'll get something completely different than you want. We put the magnesium in between the two. Now, this uh, halogen is still electronegative, so it's probably delta minus. But carbon is more electronegative than magnesium. So it is also delta minus relative to the magnesium. Remember, magnesium is a metal, and so it donates electron density pretty easily. It gets the positive charge here, or the delta plus, I should say, where the R now has a delta minus. Was delta plus, now is delta minus. And all the textbooks that I read, and in fact, this is true, show that you could basically consider this to be the alkyl chain with a lone pair of electrons on it. That makes it a strong Lewis base, and that means it is a strong nucleophile. That lone pair of electrons can attack things that have a delta plus. I will show you many reactions that use this soon. Give me a second. Let's practice preparing Grignard reagents from alkyl halides. Here we have CH3CH2 with a bromine atom on it. I'm going to put that into ether and then drop some solid magnesium into the, uh, the beaker or whatever you're doing this reaction in. Thus, I get CH3CH2MGBR. That MGBR falls off easily, and this is basically the same as CH3CH2 with a lone pair of electrons. It, that's CH2 with a lone pair of electrons will attack things that are delta plus. S this is a cyclohexyl substituent. I didn't actually draw it out for you, but it's something like that. If we put that into ether and then drop some solid magnesium into it, we end up with C6H11 with an Mg attached and an I. Let me draw that for you, just to give you another visual. MgI. It's the exact same thing, but you put an Mg in between the carbon chain and the iodine. Now, let me emphasize here that R can attack things that are delta plus. I'll give you some examples. Let's say this is CH3 MgI, something like that. You're going to treat that in chemical reactions as though it was CH3 with a lone pair of electrons. Here is a ketone. That lone pair of electrons will attack the carbon. It ends up pushing the electrons up here, but I'll get into that mechanism in a later thing. Here's an aldehyde. That CH3 will attack that carbon right there. Here is a nitrile. It's a C triple bonded to an N. 
the N is more electronegative than the C, this lone pair of electrons will attack that C. Push that to make what's called an imine, but you shouldn't care about that either. Uh, here is what we call an acid chloride. Again, C double bonded to an O, the O is electronegative, that makes this carbon delta plus attack. Last example for you, here is an epoxide. It's a carbon chain with an O in it. This O is delta minus, the carbons it's attached to are delta plus, perhaps that methyl will attack here. In fact, it will push the electrons to the oxygen. These Grignard reagents can react with any molecule that has a delta plus center the same way a nucleophile would. And that is the rest of the story. Grignard reagents, easy to make. Watch some of my other videos for the reactions and mechanisms. Ah, yeah, best of luck.